All right, so you guys, I'm recording. So please limit the extra talking, okay? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to draw a circle in the middle of the paper. A circle in the middle of your paper. Next. Let's go ahead and put in the times during the clock. So at the top of the clock is the number 12. So next to the number 12 here on the right hand side is the number three. On the bottom is the number six. And across from there is the number nine. Now we're simply going to fill in the numbers between the numbers. So the first number is one. The next number is two. One to the two. Three to the four. Four to the five. Five to the six, six to the seven. After seven, there is eight. From eight, we have nine, then 10, and lastly, 11. In order to tell time from the, for the clock, you start off with a dot in the middle. And the long, the shorthand represents the hour. Because today is the 4th of January, which is my birthday, I'm going to have my shorthand go to the 4. So it's a line and an arrow. No. You can do it whatever time you want to. The minute hand is the long hand. I'm going to put my long hand on the one because it's January 4th, 1 4. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, you want to accent the edge of your clock. This is a great opportunity to fix the circle if your circle's kind of wobbly or not necessarily a circle. Notice how I'm turning my paper as opposed to turning my hand to help me draw my circle. Now the whole uh, title of this piece is Time Flies. So in order for our time to fly, we need to put in some wings, right? To, to draw the wing, you're going to do a horizontal line from the three and the one. We're going to do a curved edge and then a straight line. Yeah, right here. Come down a little bit further, another curve and a straight line. You're gonna kind of stack it in. One more curve line. And this last one, curve line in, curve line in. All right, so this is gonna represent some wings. So let's write our words. Our title for this piece is time. T I M E yeah, you can draw whatever kind of wings you want to. 
time flies, F L I E S. Time flies when W H E N when you Y O U create C R E A T E and the last word is art. A R T. Exclamation part. Time flies when you create art. All right. So, in the background of this one, we're going to draw some artifacts, some things that deal with art. So, first, I'm going to draw a paintbrush. So, it's going to be two parallel lines. Then a little bit further, inside of this rectangle here, we're gonna do some vertical lines. Now the brush. Okay, the brush is like the letter U comes up to a point, comes back down. Then we're gonna cut back into the brush so it looks like it has some paint on it. Let's draw a couple drips. Maybe even a ink splatter. Comes over my wing, so I'm gonna erase this line. I'll have some more paint kind of coming down from it. What else do we think about when we do art? Painting and what, what, else, what else you guys think about? When we, huh, a cup? Okay, besides paint, what other things do you think of when you think about making art? Hmm? Creativity, coloring. Okay, let's do some crayons. So on this side, to draw a crayon, we're gonna draw two diagonal lines once again. Then we're gonna draw a little, like a oval, like a little swash oval shape. It's gonna come up into a cone. Most crayons have a wrapper. You can even put the color you want. I'm gonna put my favorite color, which is coral. But you can put your crayon whatever color you'd like. That's a cool thing. Let's put some erasers on there too. So to do an eraser, we're gonna draw two parallel lines. See, parallel lines are so important, right? And art. Then it kind of comes out of diagonal and a round shape. Then to make this look 3D, now here to make it 3D, you just do diagonal lines and follow the slope or the rise and the fall of the other one. This is like pink, right? It usually says pink on the eraser. All right. So now let's write 2020 on the bottom. Oh, sorry, 2021. <laughs> yes, this is just an idea, okay? However you decide to jazz up your calendar is up to you. I'm just showing you the, the basic concept, okay? All right, so let's write the month of the year so you guys have something to look forward to. All right, so the first one, 
is January, J-A-N, just like my name, U-R-A-R-Y, January. The next one, February. Feb, you very. January, February. You guys on the machines, I hope you guys are drawing too, right? Okay. Feb, January, February. Next is March. M A R C H. Next, we have April. One, two, three, four. After April is May. Next is June. Those are the first six months of the year. Now you might want to put a little graphic or a little blob. I'm going to put a little blob of paint between each one of my months, right? It's kind of cool. Add a little graphic. Okay. January, February, March, and April, May, and June. And next we have July. Now, August. September. What does the prefix SEPT mean? Like, set, like a set to gone. Seven. Seven. September. How about OCT? Oct. Like October. Eight. Good. Next is November. And the last one is December. Okay. Now let's draw our flying thing. What flies that you can think of to put on here? Huh? A plane. All right, so let's draw a plane. A plane. So to draw a plane, we're going to draw oh, two horizontal lines. That's going to come down to a point. Then we're going to draw two diagonal lines that come out. To represent the wing. You have the back wing, which is like the letter V. Try to make it short, but it can overlap. We need some uh, turbo jets, right? Want to draw a glass section for the cockpit? Let's just draw some windows. Okay, what else flies? A bird, all right. So a simple way to draw a bird, right? We've seen this before, is an extended line and the letter M. This gives the idea of a flock of birds in the distance. What else flies? Superman, all right? So for Superman, let's just do the symbol on his chest. We can do it, Eagle. All right, so to do the Superman symbol, it's a diamond, right? A diamond shape. 
I really, I'm breaking one of the main rules of art and that is you should always look at a reference image. Right now I'm just kind of pulling stuff out of my brain. So it does not look as real as it, it would as if I was actually looking at it. But the Superman logo kind of looks like this, right? Okay. All right. Uh, I heard an eagle, right? How about some? How about a butterfly? A butterfly. So we're gonna do some beautiful wings here. How about a balloon? How about a hot air balloon? All right, so. All right, so um, you guys are more than welcome to go ahead and color it for color it. All right, bus riders, let's go, Peter. Good job, Ariana. I see your work.